Tara, do you have a moment? I wanted to talk to you about something if you have a second. Hey, I can talk now. What's wrong? Did something happen at work today? Did you happen to go out earlier today, around lunch? I saw you walking with some guy that I don't ever think I've met. You saw me walking with someone? Are you sure that you didn't confuse me for someone else? I'm sure it was you. I wasn't in my office much at all today besides early this morning. I was kept pretty busy running around town today. I think it was around 2 o'clock this afternoon that I saw you walking with someone up to a hotel. Well, even if I was with someone today, what does it matter? Just because you saw me walking around with someone means you're going to accuse me of cheating? Is that it? You're right. Just walking around with someone ordinarily wouldn't be much cause for concern. But you certainly weren't dressed like that to go for a walk in the park now, were you? People also don't usually hold hands with their friends. If you're accusing me of something, why don't you just outright say it? And if you want to insist that this was just some friend that you were with, I'm going to have to voice my concerns in your opinion of just how close you and I should be with our friends. Well, I'm really eager to hear you explain this one. Try not to tire yourself out with any mental gymnastics. You're really sure of yourself then? You're positive it was me? Uh, I guess that's that. It looks like there's no point trying to hide anything now. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have been more careful. I can't believe this is how you find out. So you admit it then. You've been cheating. Aren't you just a clever little detective? Sure, you found me out. Yes, yes, you saw correctly. I was with someone earlier today. All right? And it wasn't just a walk in the park. We were on a date. What else do you want to know about my day? Well, are you happy now? Is this what you were wanting to hear? There it is. I don't know what else to say to you. I don't really have anything else to say. I think we're done. Hang on just a moment. What do you want from me? I cheated and now you know. We're over. There's nothing else to say about it. Don't you think that I deserve a bit of an explanation? Do you even know who this guy is? Are you in a relationship with him? And why? What did I do to make you want to cheat? You can't be seriously asking me that. Of course I know who it is. His name is Carter, if he's really that important to you. He works at the biggest IT company in the country. Impressive, isn't it? I'm almost positive that he's making about $70,000 a year working there. Can you even imagine making that kind of money? I see. It all makes sense now. You're only with him because of his money, aren't you? So what if I am? If you even wanted to think about trying to match that, your only option would be to change jobs. You don't make nearly as much as he does. But who cares? Your career doesn't matter to me anymore. We're done. You're always going to be stuck working at that pathetic factory that you inherited from your father. You'd need to shut the whole thing down if you ever wanted to change your career. We both know that'll never happen. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with my career, or how much money I'm making for that matter. I really don't understand you. I can't believe that you want to throw this relationship away over money. You haven't got a clue, do you? I already told you, your pathetic career doesn't matter. We're done, whether you believe it or not. End of story, alright? <laughs> you may be the president of that sad little operation, but that's all you have. A title. Other than that, you're totally worthless. All right, that's enough. I don't want to hear any more. Thank you for clearing that all up for me. You've made up your mind. If this is what you want, fine by me. Promise me one thing, though. Don't come back crying to me when it all falls apart. I won't be the one to pick up the pieces. You've got to be kidding me. In your dreams. <laughs> You've got quite an imagination. Maybe you should put that towards trying to advance your career. No lasting relationship has ever started out of an affair. Good luck. I think you're going to need it. Save your good luck. You might need it to hold together that mess of a factory you can barely keep going. Bye bye
Yo, long time no see, <laughs> am I right? I think you already know the news. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to be the one to break it to you. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> Taking your girlfriend and all. No hard feelings or anything, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, long time no see. What a coincidence you'd message me today of all days. I'm guessing Tara told you about how I saw you two together then. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Why though? Why Tara? I know you hate me, I get that much, but seriously, don't you think that this is a bit much even for you? I really didn't think you'd go as far as ruining my relationships. Yeah, uh, I suppose it doesn't make a difference if I tell you. Wouldn't be right of me to not give you at least a little bit of an explanation. You know, normally I wouldn't give a thought to any garbage you might have. It's not like I don't already live the best life that you could ever dream of having. <laughs> but Tara... Now that woman is fine. I couldn't believe she'd be dating someone like you. It just wasn't right that she could possibly be with a clown like you. <laughs> Surely that can't be the only reason. There wasn't something about her that made you feel so strongly about it all to bring you to this? <laughs> Look at you, trying to act all tough. I'm sure this is really eating away at you, but you can drop the act. <laughs> you don't have to lie, bro. I know from the beginning that Tara's wealth was what really drew you to her. Tara's wealth? What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Stop pretending like we both don't already know the truth. There's nothing to hide anymore. Tara is an aesthetician in managing one of the most well-known salons in the state. It's so famous, they've got people coming even out of state. With that kind of renown and working the position she is, she's got to be pulling in huge numbers on that salary. I see. I should have guessed that it was about money. So everything else is just irrelevant to you, right? You're only after her money. What a strange coincidence. Are you calling me a gold digger or something? <laughs> really? Do you really have any room to be saying that? No, I'm not implying anything. I'm already over this whole thing. Once she admitted to cheating, that was it for me. I'm sure the two of you will be great for each other, though. That was it, huh? So what, you're just gonna walk away? You've got it. I don't want anything to do with her. If you're planning on dating, getting married, whatever, I wish you all the best. Like I said, I'm sure the two of you will make quite the couple. Hey now, marriage, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Why waste any time, right? <laughs> the sooner, the better. All of that wealth will be closer than ever. Thanks for the idea, bud. <laughs> and don't even think about trying anything, got it? I'll take good care of Tara and her money. Try anything? Trust me, the thought hadn't even crossed my mind. I told you, I'm done. You don't have to worry about me. Steven, I have some wonderful news. I'm sure you'll be excited to hear all about it. Since we've been together for so long until only just yesterday, I thought it would be so kind of me to share with you. I just feel awful if you still had feelings for me, so I want to make it easier for you to give up on the thought of us ever happening again. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't need any help moving on. I don't care. I don't need any updates. Thanks. I already told you that I'm over it. Whatever it is, you should tell someone who will share your excitement. I know you're just trying to act tough. It's fine, I understand. There's no way you could get over me that easily. That's why I will help. Aren't I kind? You don't have to thank me. Just try not to get too upset. I guess you're going to keep texting me no matter what I say. So hurry up already. Carter and I got married. Married? Already? How much thought went into that decision? That's right, married. It wasn't long after our conversation the other day. We didn't want to waste any time. Not long after? It's only been like a day. Does it get any quicker than that? I think it was two hours after you and I last chatted. You weren't kidding about not wasting time. Of course I wasn't kidding. This isn't a joke. He was the one that proposed, naturally. He really is just perfect. I can't believe I almost missed out on being with someone so amazing. It's a good thing I won't have to live with any regrets now. <laughs>
Carter knows exactly what he wants. He's already told me how much he loves me, and the fact that we got married so soon shows that he is a man of action too. I don't think he could be any more perfect. I'm so happy. Sounds like he's great for you. You really do seem happy. I hope it makes it easier to keep working your job that you hate and always complain about. You're one to talk. Stop trying to ruin my good mood. You're right. What was I thinking? So sorry to ruin the mood. You're only trying to bring me down since you're still feeling so miserable. I won't let that happen, though. You should realize that you're only worth as much as you make. Everyone knows that. I almost feel bad for you. <laughs> Someone like you can't even compare to Carter. Sure, that sounds great. Is this still part of your news, or are you done ranting now? Stop acting like you don't care. <laughs> you said you were going to share your excited news. You did just that. Mission accomplished. It doesn't seem like you have anything else worth saying after that wonderful rant of yours. Does Carter know you're texting me? Shouldn't you be spending time with your special new husband instead of talking to me about it? Well, no, I didn't really mention it. I didn't think it was a big deal. Of course you didn't. Anyway, thanks again for that great update. See ya. What? That's it. You really don't have anything else to say. Really. No. Why would I? What needs to be said? I don't know. I didn't think you'd react like this. What did you expect? What were you hoping for exactly? Did you want me to get upset or angry? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I told you I'm over it already. Honestly, I think the whole situation is pretty hilarious. I, I mean, really. You actually married the guy you cheated with a couple hours after we broke up. It doesn't get much funnier than that. I've been laughing this whole time. I should be thanking you. <laughs> what exactly is so funny? Anyway, congrats on the happy little marriage. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm kind of busy. You'll have to find someone else to share all that excitement with. Steven, how's it going? I have some great news to share with you. Let me guess, you got married. Congratulations. How did you already know? You said that you were going to yesterday when we talked. Remember? I just put two and two together. I'm a little busy, so I thought I'd just try to speed this conversation along just a bit. You really know how to ruin the vibes. You need to work on that. Read the room. Stop being so lame. Read the room? Read what's in front of you. I told you I'm busy and I don't have time for this. What's up with you? You need to lighten up a bit. Me? You're joking, right? I'm busy. And even if I wasn't, I wouldn't want to waste time talking to you. You're trying to bother me about marrying my ex, and you think I care? Did you hit your head or something? You really are such a huge loser. <laughs> I was just trying to help you out, seeing as how you're in such a miserable mood and can't move on. You shouldn't be worrying about me. You're married now, right? It would benefit you to put more energy into your marriage, don't you think? If you ask me, it's only been a day I can already see some red flags. You really gotta stop projecting, my man. <laughs> you keep on talking like a sore loser. That's why I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> what are you even talking about? I try to help, but I guess a loser is always gonna just be that. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said it doesn't feel great knowing how miserable you are. I'm off to enjoy the married life. See you later, loser. <coughs> Steven, what gives? You knew about this from the beginning, didn't you? What did I know about? Would you like to explain a little more? Tara's monthly salary. You knew all along and you didn't mention it. I saw one of her pay slips. I couldn't believe it. How could she be making so little? She works at one of the best salons as a manager and she's only pulling in $700 a month? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's what you're talking about. 
Well, it sounds like she still hasn't changed jobs from what she was working before. If that's the case, she's just working a part-time job as a waitress. A waitress? But she never mentioned that at all. Her aunt is the only person I know that's working at a salon as a manager. Her aunt? The restaurant Tara works at and the salon her aunt manages are in the same strip mall. Maybe Tara stretched the truth a bit about her job, or maybe you misunderstood? Who knows? How have the two of you gone this long with that kind of miscommunication? <laughs> this is unreal. There's no way she could be making so little. Do you remember how much Tara made last year? Last year, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think she made about $6,000. Somewhere around that number. I don't remember exactly. There's no way. That's nothing. How could she get by making that much? Tara's supposed to be rich. How is that rich? That is the furthest thing from it. It's only a part-time job. It's kind of hard to be rich off just that. Why didn't you ever say anything about it? Was I supposed to? <laughs> Why would I tell you every single detail about my ex? Besides, how am I supposed to know anyway? Obviously, I don't talk with Tara anymore. She could have changed jobs since her and I last talked. As far as I'm concerned, Tara and I are strangers at this point. I can't speak honestly about something I don't know anything about. The only thing you seem to care about from the beginning was trying to outdo me by getting with Tara. Don't you think it's a bit ridiculous to think that I would willingly tell you any kind of information? You must be delusional. I can't believe it. I can't believe you got me stuck in this mess. You can't blame me for anything. I don't want to be involved in your mess of a relationship, so leave me out of it. Got it? Steven! Steven, I need to talk to you. It's about Carter. There is something horribly wrong. This paycheck income doesn't make any sense at all. He's supposed to be rich. He works at one of the biggest IT companies and he isn't making any money at all. How can he be making only $600 a month? How did you find that out? Did you go looking at his pay slips or something? Of course I did. How else would I have found out? It's a good thing I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known for even longer. I couldn't believe it. He only made a measly $600. I don't even know if he worked at all this month. You're right, that isn't very much money at all. It might be because he's only working a part-time job. What do you mean a part-time job? He works at an IT company. Why would he be working a part-time job if he already has a job? He does work in an IT company, but not full-time. He's only working there part-time and he doesn't really do much. Only part-time? I'm pretty sure he had only started working this job a year ago. Up until then, he had just been living off his mother at home doing nothing. She probably got tired of him doing nothing and pushed him to start working at least part-time to help out. He was living off his parents? Are you saying that Carter was a basement dweller? That's a bit harsh, but probably a good way to put it. I think he did live in the basement. I didn't have any idea that he'd been mooching off his parents for so long. How do you know so much about Carter? I should have guessed he wouldn't have talked about this if he never talked about his work that much. Talked about what? I only know so much because he was my stepbrother. He's your brother? No, he was. He isn't anymore, though. What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. My mother passed away when I was only three years old. When I was in junior high, my father remarried someone who also already had a kid. I think we've talked about it before, but I can't remember. I guess you don't either, though. The woman my father remarried was Carter's mother. Anyway, my father and his mother got divorced a year ago. That's why I said he was my brother. So... That means you aren't technically related anymore, then? Well, I don't think we were ever technically really related. Very fortunate for me. He always hated me, even from the beginning, so it's not like we ever treated each other as siblings. Even though we aren't related or on good terms with one another, we live in the same area. It's not hard to hear about his situation through our neighbors. Word gets around pretty easy. I can't believe this. So you knew, then? You knew all about him from the beginning and you never told me? 
Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you correct me? I thought that he was rich. Why would I do that? Are you seriously saying that to your ex-boyfriend? Come on. You could have said something. It's pretty funny. Carter had said similar things to what you did before. He thought you were making a lot of money working at a salon and that he was going to hit the jackpot. He said what? Did you ever mention that your aunt was the only one working at a salon? Somehow he was under the impression that you were the one making all the money. I mean, I think I may have mentioned something like that at one point. Well, I don't know what you told him or how the conversation went. Somewhere along the line, there was a bit of miscommunication. Or maybe the two of you weren't coherent when you had some of these conversations? This can't be happening. I can't believe this. Whatever. It isn't my problem. I'm sure the two of you will work things out and communicate better from now. I don't want to be involved with you or Carter's nonsense anymore. Please don't bother me about this again. Hang on. You can't just ignore me. Good luck, and again, congratulations on the marriage. Once Tara and Carter realized the truth about each other's work and income, they broke out into a huge argument. During their argument, their anger was directed more towards one another than myself. It turns out that what little money Tara and Carter both had was frivolously wasted. Everything, including their savings, had been used up. In that short month, they spared no expense under the delusion that the other person would be able to cover everything without any problems. They had even charged multiple credit cards during their spree. On top of their financial problems, apparently Tara's aunt was actually renting the apartment they lived in on their behalf. She'd been receiving a flood of noise complaints from the other tenants of the apartment building and eventually decided to cancel the lease. Tara and Carter had no choice but to move out of the apartment. It wasn't long after that the two of them filed for a divorce. Tara and Carter both ended up living with strangers in crummy apartments in order to save up money to pay off the debts they had racked up. 